Trucker Steve here. Parallel parking guide sheet. Steps. Step one, pull forward until the rear of your trailer has passed the parallel park space. Your tractor trailer should be straight and centered in the lane. Straight and centered. Step number two, the setup. The trailer needs to go to the left, so we're gonna start out with a right. Turn the steering tires all the way to the right. You're gonna back up slowly until your drive tires, using your convex mirror, so your drive tires should be on the yellow line. Right on the yellow line. Using your convex mirror, be easier with using the convex mirror. So step number three, using your right side convex mirror back up slowly into your right drive tires is on the yellow line and stop. Now we're going to do a counter steer. We want to get the tractor and trailer straight. The counter steer will turn the wheel to all the way to the left. Now using the big mirror on the right side, not the convex, the big mirror, back up slowly until you see the right trailer tires in your right mirror. Once it comes into view, stop. Your tractor and trailer will be straight if you stop as soon as you see the right rear trailer tires come into view, stop. Go slowly. This is what you should be able to see. Nice and straight, center, cone. Now, you may not get that. You might have one cone or two cones. So let's go to step number five. You just did a right and a left. That's your setup. Look in your mirrors. Look back. Ask yourself, how many cones do I have? How many cones? Hopefully, you have the center cone, the middle cone. Three cones, and hopefully, you got the center cone. The first cone and the center cone. If you have only the number one cone, the first cone to the right, or you see all three cones, stop. Don't back up. Don't back up on a mistake. Fix it now, fix it. If you have one cone, turn the wheel, steering wheel, a half a turn, a full turn to the right. All you need to do is just pull up maybe about six feet. Pull up until the middle cone comes into view comes into view in your in your right mirror. Or just pull up six feet and then come back, counter steer back to the left and get the tractor and trailer straight. Practice, practice, and then you get this down. When you pull up to the right, it's gonna move the trailer back to the left, and there you should have the middle cone. But don't overdo it, practice. If you have three cones, if you have three cones, turn the wheel, steering wheel, all the way to the left. Half a turn or turn to the left. Pull up about six feet. Then turn the wheel back to the right, counter steer, and pull forward and get the tractor and trailer straight. And hopefully now we have the middle cone. Now hopefully we have the middle cone. That's what we want. Okay, now you have the middle cone. Now what you need to do now is back up straight until the right trailer, the right side trailer tires are on the yellow line. As you back up, do not lose sight of that middle cone. The middle cone's right here. Do not lose sight. You're gonna put your right trailer tires on this double lines. The one tire closest to you, if you look in the mirror, it's easy to see that better than the second tire. Put that right on top of the second line. If that's on top, the second tire is in the box, in the parallel park. Stay straight. Now we're gonna bring the trailer in the box. The trailer needs to be pulled to the right, so we're gonna come up with a left. We're gonna back up slowly until the drive tire on the right side is on the yellow line or the landing pad is hovering the yellow line. Step number eight, we're gonna bring the trailer in, the, the tractor and trailer in the box. Hopefully we can get the tractor and trailer completely in the box. That may not happen. A lot of times with students, it just doesn't happen. Turn the wheel all the way to the right. 
You back up until your trailer is straight and parallel to the yellow line. Sometimes you'll get the track and trailer in, but most of the time with students, it's not gonna happen. So you're gonna back up. If you look at, use your mirrors properly, you can see that trailer is parallel to the line. Stop, don't back up anymore. Also check your left mirror, make sure you're not backing over the left line. So this is what you have. If you look at, if you have a day cab, you look at the window, you can see that trailer is parallel to the line, but the tractor was unable to get under the trailer. So now we gotta be patient. We have to change the angle of the tractor to get it into the box. If you look down here, we can see this tractor is parallel to the line. The trailer is off to the right. We need to change the angle by being patient, by pulling up six feet, no more than that. No matter how much room I have in front, I'm just gonna pull up six feet and not disturb that trailer. Okay. Now, once again, as you back up, make sure you know what's on the left and the right. You back up. And once that trailer is straight, parallel to line, stop. Now, the trailer is in the box. The trailer, as you see, the trailer is in the box. 50% of your test is now over with. All you have to do is be patient and get the tractor under the trailer. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to turn the wheel all the way to the left. We're going to pull four, no more than six feet. All you're doing is changing the angle of the tractor. You pull up six feet, stop, turn the wheel all the way to the right and back up and look at your left mirror and you'll see your left trailer tire and you will be straight. So here's the first one. The trailer, we turn the tractor wheels all the way to the left up about six feet five or six feet then we turn the wheel back to the right back up slowly hopefully you'll be able to see your left trailer tires and you should be straight and it should end up like this straight not perfectly straight if you gotta do it again you know make it a second pull up to the left and then the right fine do it hopefully the video helped you just be patient once the trailer's in a box 50% of your test is over with